Hi and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to talk about a tool um, that I've actually had for a while now. Um, I think it was a Christmas present um, a year or so ago, um, but I've not actually um, used it until the last couple of weeks. Um, and I thought rather than just showing you the tool, I'd explain um, a bit more about how I'd um, used it so that you can see why um, in certain situations it's a really useful thing to have. So. Um, in one of the recent videos about building this uh, battery electric loco um, with my son, you will have seen us talk about uh, the wasp stripes. Now, we didn't get into much detail um, in the, the video we filmed about exactly how um, these were these were made. Uh, we talked about masking tape and stuff, but not about how I'd necessarily um, laid it out and put it on. Um, <clears throat> so, to give a little bit of, um, of background for, for the tool I want to tell you about, um, I did this by essentially using two two widths of tape, um, this slightly thicker thicker Tamiya masking tape, uh, and then the important size was this six millimeter uh, thick tape. Um, uh, and what I've done, as you can see, is that each of these stripes is essentially one piece of um, this six millimeter tape. Um, so what I did was I started by putting a piece of the thicker tape. Um, across the top of the buffer beam to mark out the the tops of the of the stripes um, and then I made a start by putting on essentially the tape for this yellow stripe here um, and I did that by lining up one edge of the tape with this corner uh, and then one edge the bottom edge with the very middle um, of the top of the buffer beam here and once that was on I could then line up the other side as well um, and they are close enough, um, I haven't actually measured it, but close enough to 45 degrees that I could essentially then just layer up more lines of tape butt up to them to get the other pieces. I actually put, I put one on for this yellow stripe and then put one on for the black stripe, another one for the yellow stripe and then peeled the black ones off um, to leave the gap. That was, how I, that was how I did it rather than having to measure uh, the distance. I just put covered the entire thing in, in strips of tape and then peeled off the ones where I wanted it to be black. Um, and then the ones to form the actual triangle type shapes down here, uh, because it was as close to 45 as, 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 as makes no difference, I could literally put a slice of a piece of tape up here and butt it up to the bottom of the stripe piece I put on for this yellow one and then another one for this up to again up to the yellow one uh, and then keep going um, to give me all the, the things. Um, but the question is, <clears throat> how did I find, I mean this bottom corner is easy, but how did I find the middle? Um, of this of this edge well normally I would have taken out my one of my favorite uh, rulers which is this um, it's just a essentially a six inch metal rule um, it's not in inches of course because I'm in the UK so and I'm um, of an age where uh, models might be so many millimeters to the foot but when I'm measuring things uh, they get measured in centimeters so it's a 15 centimeter ruler uh, nothing Nothing particularly clever or fancy about it, and I could measure this, and it measures out at what, twenty six millimeters across. No, sorry, fifty fifty six millimeters across. So I'm looking at what, twenty something, twenty five and a half millimeters or whatever, uh, kind of here or there, um, to make to find the middle. Uh, but what I actually used was this ruler. Now it's a bit long for the camera. Um, but it's a 30 centimeter ruler um, but the interesting thing is it's a center finding ruler as well so um, what you can see here if I get the light right is that it has a mark in the middle uh, and then counts up to 15 centimeters in both directions um, so it's essentially two two of these rulers stuck end to end to give me a center point um, which is here I mean, really problems with my light and the <laughs> reflectability of these rulers. Um, so that means that you can then, you know, you can find the center of something by lining up, making sure that the both sides essentially read exactly the same measurement. Uh, as I say, a bit difficult to see, but this 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 ruler is is just a, about about 19 and a half millimeters wide. So you can line it up so it's just inside the 10 on both sides. Um, and that's what I did. I um, I lined up the ruler um, so that the that I was getting essentially the same. I obviously mis mismeasured the on the other one. Um, yeah, so I'm, I get about twenty eight ish. No, anyway, I found the middle. There we go. And um, yeah, so there's there's about two millimeters on each side, um, 
and that made finding the middle really easy and I just then um, marked it onto the masking tape that I'd put on with a pencil and then lined everything else up um, <coughs> and it was so much easier than trying to you know find the right mark on here and remember exactly which one I'm on so I'm on like you know if it's it's what exactly it's it's what 56 so I need 25 20, 20 25 I'm no good at the math six seven eight twenty eight millimeters on each head that's what I that's what I thought so um so that's 28 uh that's here so I'd have to do that and then make sure I got the 28 in, and you can see it's doable but it's a faff this I don't necessarily even need to do the measurements I just hold it up move it around until both sides are identical it doesn't actually matter what the measurements are it doesn't matter that the you know the 28 on either side that doesn't matter um it's just easy to hold up against the model um align it and and you're done um so yeah um simple tool I'll put um I mean I'm sure you can find loads of these anywhere you want this was a Axminster Precision uh, apparently um, I'll put the link to the one this exact one um, in the description but I'm sure you can find uh, find others that are that are similar different sizes probably um, inches rather than millimeters if you'd prefer but as I say I'll put a link to this one in the in the description but yeah it was it was a tool I'd not um, I'd not even thought about um, necessarily needing um, but it just turned out to be one of those things that once I started using it, um, I couldn't believe um, how useful um, how useful it was. Um, so, yeah, it, uh, as I say, it's one of these things probably everybody already knows about it but me. Um, but I'd, I've been modelling for a while now and I'd not heard of it until, as I say, a year or so ago and I, I got bought one for Christmas. Um, and it's not the kind of thing that, you know, you need all day, every day. Uh, but in those situations where you really do need to find the middle of something, um, it does make life so much easier. Um, so there we go. That's kind of two things in one: the ruler and how I did the the masking tape, uh, the the masking for the for the wasp stripes. As I say, I was just very very lucky on this on this model that the the thickness of the tape I used and the dimensions of this buffer beam mean that um, I got a forty five degree, uh, I got a ninety degree angle when I put the two pieces of tape on. Um, because that made life so so much easier. I did think about redoing it, uh, well, doing it with a thinner tape, um, or moving the stripes slightly. Uh, I did wonder about moving them so that they were um, in a slightly different position, so they came down from the middle to down here, uh, so they were kind of cutting across. But then it, the the angles weren't weren't as uh, as ninety degrees, and it would have been a nightmare to line up the tape. Um, so this worked, and I think it works works perfectly, as 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 you'll see. Um, as you've seen in the other in the other videos uh, about this model in particular, so yeah, there we go, a ruler and a very brief mention of uh, of, of wasp stripes. Thanks for watching.